Eleanor, thank you. And the circumstances of this case led law enforcement to issue what's called a rare blue alert to warn the public about the suspect and the vehicle they were driving. Randy Cohen picks up the team coverage with a closer look at the history of this notification. Thankfully, Andy, it's seldom used. That's right, Rob. And there are two primary goals of a blue alert. First, to warn the public about a potentially dangerous suspect. And two, to hopefully generate leads about their location and bring them into custody faster. Cell phones across Colorado buzzed with the same urgent message Thursday night, a blue alert to look out for suspect Justin Kula and the silver Lexus he was driving. The criteria for the blue alert is that we have to have an instance where a peace officer has been killed or seriously injured and the suspect is still on the move. State lawmakers created the blue alert system in 2011, but it is rarely used. Yesterday's issuance was only the fourth time that we've ever issued um, a blue alert in Colorado. The most recent case before this was out of Arvada in 2019. This was also one of the few times law enforcement could use the wireless emergency alerting system to push the message onto mobile phones. The use of the EAS, which is the emergency alerting system, and the wireless emergency alerting system, or the WIA, which you see on your phone, can only be used in Amber Alert cases and Blue Alert, as we saw yesterday. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation also manages a variety of other urgent alerts, but they reach the public through different methods. The missing indigenous person alert, the senior alert, the developmentally delayed alert, and the endangered missing person alert would all be disseminated to all of our media outlets and posted to social media online. The CBI also broadcast this warning on the state's variable message signs. Those are those big signs above I-25. Simpkins explained that those messages don't automatically show up on the highways when they have a blue alert, but they do have a great working relationship with CDOT to help get urgent information like this out to the public. Rob? Andy, thank you.